I want to let people know about a cool project for retro PCs coming out in the future. It is the Pico IDE, and it's a device that emulates IDE and Atapi devices. So it can emulate like CD-ROMs and fixed hard disks for retro PCs. It's being developed by Ian Scott, which is the creator of the Pico Gus. And that's another cool project that I highly recommend you check out. The device hasn't been released yet, but Ian Scott says that it's coming soon. Here I am in the website and let's read what are its features. It says here that it has a fully open source firmware and hardware. It emulates a tappy CD-ROMs and IDE fixed hard drives. The CD-ROM support looks to support bin slash Q or ISO image files. For hard drive emulation, it supports IMG, HDA, VHD, and HDF images. It will have built-in CD audio output on a 3.5 inch jack and MPC2 header. That MPC2 header should allow you to connect the Pico IDE directly to an internal sound card. It also supports PIO modes 0 through 4 and multi-word DMA modes 0 through 2. And finally, there will be an optional 3.5 inch drive bay enclosure that will have a 1.3 inch 124 by 64 OLED screen with four-way navigation buttons, Wi-Fi support for remote control and upload and management of disk images, and RGB activity LED. Here in the website, you can see an image on what the device looks like, along with its enclosure. I believe this right here is an SD card slot, so you will store your CD-ROM and disk images with SD cards. And this is a pretty amazing project and would be great for retro PCs. This will make it a lot more convenient for you to have like several hard drive images for operating systems. For example, on your retro PC, you can have an operating system for DOS, one dedicated to Windows 3.1, another dedicated to Windows 98, and so on and so on. Also, the CD-ROM emulation is awesome. As CD-ROM drives get older and older, their lasers might start failing. So having a device like this will allow you to at least play your games without the need of a CD-ROM drive. So how would you install the Pico IDE? It should work by connecting it via an IDE cable to your retro PC's motherboard's IDE port. I believe the MPC2 header on the Pico IDE would connect to your sound card's CD audio in port, giving it the ability to output CD audio from the sound card. But the Pico IDE also has an audio out port that will allow it to connect to external speakers to play CD audio from there. If you have the optional 3.5 inch hard drive bay enclosure, you can slide that into a PC case's 3.5 inch bay. The only question is how much will it cost as that hasn't been revealed yet. But if we go by the price of a Pico Gus, let me just show you that. A Pico Gus costs 50 US dollars and that's very affordable when you consider what this device can do. If you don't know what the Pico Gus is, it's a sound card emulator for ISA retro PCs. It can emulate the Gravis Ultrasound, Sound Blaster and AdLib, Creative Music System, Tandy 3 Voice, has MPU 401 support, and also emulate joysticks. It can even emulate CD-ROMs too. So for $50, that's a pretty an amazing deal for a device like this. Hopefully the pricing can be comparable with the Pico IDE. Anyway, that's it. I just wanted to let everyone know about this new device coming soon for retro PCs. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching. I'll speak to you next time.